Hi, I'm Joseph. And I'm Mariana. And together we're here on our on our cherry farm in mid cherry harvest in in central Portugal, Fundal. It's uh, it's been an absolutely wonderful harvest so far, and we're really we're really feeling quite blessed to have had such a nice such a nice harvest. We're in our last three days of the harvest now, and unfortunately, however, last night there was there was a heck of a thunderstorm. It was it was really really rather bad. There was real real heavy winds uh, the rain was lashing down the cherries they won't be too affected by the rain as such um, that's just gonna make them wet but um, the wind is gonna knock them together they're gonna become bruised and then the rain is gonna sit on them all night and now the morning has come and the Sun has broken through the clouds and it's probably going to bake the cherries and that water is going to cause them to swell and then split open so we're we're crossing all of our fingers and hoping that the uh, hoping that the very very end the tail end of the harvest is not going to be too dreadful but um, even if even if all of the cherries split now we're not going to be too disheartened because it's been it's been a really nice harvest and we're really we're really pleased with the results but but yeah we're just hoping we can get those extra couple of days now but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's been really lovely yeah. Just come back from my neighbours, and uh, me and my neighbours have got a little a little agreement going. I've got a couple of incubators, so um, so I often time incubate out some of their some of their poultry eggs, and in return, every now and again, they they give me they give me some poultry. So what have we got here then, Mariana? Two baby geese. Two baby geese. Yeah. Let's have a look at those. Ah, two little grey geese. Yeah. So we need to. So we need to integrate those slowly with the uh, with the gaggle of geese that we've got. They won't they won't take to them straight away. So we need to uh, we need to house them where they can see each other and interact through the through the bars with each other, but not um, but not like you know fight or attack or anything. And then after like a week or, or something like that, they should be they should be absolutely fine and best of friends, and uh, and walk around with each other. Are you gonna get out, Mariana? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna show everyone what else we've got. Do you need a hand? Yeah. Do you need a hand? You okay? Yeah, you okay. I'm fine. <laughs> and this is what we've got in the back of our van. <laughs> so we've just been to the neighbours and like Mariana showed you we've got a couple of goslings here. Let's see those goslings again. There we go. We've got a couple of grey goslings. And they're gonna be they're gonna be in with our gaggle. Hopefully we've got a male. It's a little bit too early to tell yet. But hopefully we've got a male in there, and then that means that next year we can breed our own goslings out again. There you go, Mariana. Thank you. <laughs> and what we what we have here is 12 turkey poults from our neighbour. So um, so yeah, these are these are going to be uh, a fantastic addition to the farm. Every year we raise turkeys here on the farm. You can't house the turkeys with chickens. 
because uh, the chickens can pass on a disease called blackhead disease. So, uh, so it's very important to house these separately from the chickens. They can be close by, but it's just best not that they're not walking through each other's mess and everything because they can, they can pass over parasites. So, so we're going to have these in our second barn, which is right next to the chicken barn. There's a fence in between, so it's very rare that chickens pass over there unless we get a flighty one or something. But, um, but yeah, so we're going to fatten these up over the next few months and, and they're going to be a wonderful addition to the farm. Hey, Mitz, hey. <laughs> the dogs have come to see what's going on. <laughs> How's it going? I'm gonna get off. Let's go move them now down into the barn, down to their new home. Hey! <laughs> okay. okay, we've got the turkey poults down here now, we just carried them down. And uh, there's no chickens in here anymore. There was before, there's now no longer any chickens in here for the fear of blackhead disease. Um, we've still got some ducks in here. You saw before on a previous episode that we have a, a mother duck sitting on sitting on a, a clutch of about about ten eggs, I think, right? Seven, ten eggs, something like that. We've now we've now got a second duck that's sitting on some more eggs. So there's one of them either side of the barn now. And uh, when are we when are we expecting little ducklings? Well, the first mother is probably a week. Another week, okay. A week and half maximum. Yep. And the second mother just three weeks. Fantastic. Just coming yeah. now for the mother, so. so so very shortly we'll have our own little ducklings running around on the farm, so that'll be nice. <laughs> so the uh, the turkey poults, we'll get them out and they'll live in here. They've got their barn to sleep in in the night, and they've got this place to run around in during the day. And this is only going to be for a, around a week or something like that that they're going to stay in here. The rest of the time we're going to open this gate, have a rock in front of it so it's wedged open, and they'll be totally pasture raised. This is just to get them used to just to, used to the new farm, used to their new surroundings, and make sure they're happy and keep them segregated from all the other animals. And and yeah, should be good. So let's get them let's get them out and into their new home. So we have here all our little turkey poults. We're letting those out, and we have, if I can get one, six beautiful big bronze turkey poults and these are all at around the six to eight weeks age so they're gorgeous they're going to come out all black and bronze tails and, and absolutely beautiful color markings off we go <laughs> and six white ones these are beautiful birds i find the white ones get a bit bigger and um they're also they're much more marketable because they don't get they don't get the black pin feathers that that stick under the skin so so them ones are um, much more marketable, but yeah. But I personally prefer the bronze. <laughs> Gorgeous, curious little birds. Last one. Come on, come join your friends. Last but not least, there we go. <laughs> That's all the turkeys sorted. Now we're going to go get the geese, the little goslings, into their pen so they can see the uh, see the bigger geese and then become friends with those. Yeah. Oh 
oh my god <laughs> the heavens have opened this has now 100 percent spelled the end to the cherry harvest so um so yeah so that's us done for the year on the harvest now we're uh, <laughs> picking our times to work we're um we're taking some straw up to the second sheep barn because tomorrow is shearing day so we're gonna get some straw in there get that nice and clean and uh and then the the shepherd's gonna come along and shear those with me and lloyd tomorrow morning hopefully if the weather clears up <laughs> okay we've just drove up to the uh up to the second gate the back entrance of the farm and now we're at the at the sheep barn the second barn and uh, we've got two bales of hay we think that's probably enough we're going to scatter that all around in there and that should be good for for tomorrow's shearing because i think i think the shepherd's going to want to do them in here but i'm not sure yeah. all the animals let out for the morning and uh, I'm a bit surprised I thought it was gonna be uh, a dreadfully rainy and, and stormy day today but it looks like it's uh, looks like it's actually gonna be a perfect day for work it's not too hot it's not too cold and uh, and yeah it's nice and bright a few clouds to, to cause us some shade so so it looks like it's gonna be a good one today and that's um, and that's good because today we're, we're shearing the sheep uh, we're going up the village to, to meet one of our friends Pinto and, uh, and he's going to introduce us to the sheep shearer, which means that we don't have to do the shearing ourselves. So, <laughs> so that's going to be that's going to be jolly handy. So yeah, <laughs> our scarecrow's doing well. We've uh, we think we've picked a name now. Um, we had so many fantastic name suggestions on Instagram and on YouTube. So thank you all for that. It made it uh, made it very difficult picking a name. We liked uh, we liked Sam the scarecrow though. So we think. We think we're going to call him Sam. Quite a few people said Wurzel though, so that was uh, that was a close runner-up. Yeah, <laughs> and honest to God, I think I think he's doing a fantastic job because every morning I walk down here, it makes me jump out of my skin. So, <laughs> so if it can if it, if it can scare me, I'm sure it's good enough to scare some blackbirds. <laughs> Let's go shear some sheep. It's the beginning of June here on the Gardunia mountain side, the mountain you can see in the background there. And we're on our neighbor's farm, Senor Pinto. And he's, uh, he's got 19 big, beautiful sheep that need shearing. 
and he's just come out of hospital having a serious operation. So me and Lloyd have come down to his farm today. We've penned up the sheep in the barn already over there and now, uh, and now we're waiting for the shearer to arrive and once he arrives we're going to get in there and get them sheep sheared. Then afterwards we're going to go back to our farm and we're going to shear our, our 11 sheep that we've got. The, the lamb doesn't need shearing so we've got 11 to do. It's quite important here that you get the, uh, the shearing done at the right time. There's a bit of a sweet spot. It depends where you live, but you can shear earlier or you can shear later. We're on the Gardunia mountain here, like I say, and we're about 600, 700 meters altitude. So that means that it gets jolly hot in the summer, but also jolly cold in the winter. So we need to find that sweet spot of the shearing. So if you shear too early, it means that the wool is going to already have grown back by September time and it's still jolly hot. So it, it, it's really quite necessary to, to find that middle spot. If you shear too late, it means that you're going to be overheating at the beginning of the summer, so like now sort of time. So really, the beginning of June probably is the best time to get your shearing done. So now we're just waiting for the shearer and we're going to, uh, going to get them done, but yeah. <laughs> Abre a porta, se quiser. Vinha! Anda! Okay, we're here up at the second barn now. Now we're going to get our sheep done. We've got 11 sheep in here that need shearing, and now we're going to uh, we're going to do them. We'll stop for a little bit of lunch. Now we're ready to uh, ready to go for round two. <laughs> Para usar a ceia. Na ceia. E ceia tradicional de queijos. É. Por isso tem montes de ovelhas. Vocês têm muito trabalho? Tem. É, né? Sempre, todo o ano. Há quanto tempo é que vocês estão neste trabalho de tosquear as ovelhas? Há 20 e tal anos. 20 e tal. Muito bem. E sempre foram. Um, sempre usaram a máquina ou também já usaram a tesoura? Sempre foi a máquina. Foi a máquina. E mais ou menos quanto tempo dura cada ovelha com a máquina? É, pai, dois, três minutos. Dois, pai. três. Também é conforme a ovelha, não é? É. é. <risos> Acho que está bom. Eu quero dizer muito é. obrigado por o que vocês fazem por nossas ovelhas. Nós é. agradecer muito é. e uh, era, era perfeita, não é? Frescas. Era perfeita. É. É. E agora eles parecem animais diferentes. É. <risos> muito obrigado. É. obrigado. obrigado.
So it's been a, uh, another lovely, lovely week on the farm. A nice productive week, come on mate. <laughs> we've got all of those, all of those turkey poults in. We've got this year's turkey poults in now. And, uh, and yeah, I've been, I've been really dying to, to get some of those on the farm. They're, they're such curious little critters. They're, they're like chickens, but just much more curious. They're fantastic animals. But yeah, so, <laughs> and here they all are being curious behind me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we've got those little, those two little goslings as well. And they're, they're fantastic, fantastic animals. They're going to be a lovely addition to not, to our, to our gaggle over there. We have, we have finished the cherry, the cherry picking now. That's, that's completely finished. The heavy storms that we had meant that we had to finish about three to four days sooner than we probably would have done. But, um, but that's that's fine. We were all happy with the uh, happy with the rest, and and we were just so pleased, so pleased that the uh, that the harvest ended up being being much better than we'd expected anyway. That it meant um, that it meant yeah, we we were happy to finish a couple of days early. Me and Lloyd have now got all the sheep shorn. They're 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 all completely. <laughs> <laughs> completely naked of their woolly jackets now. They're they're a fraction of the size that they were a couple of days ago. So it's uh, it's rather bizarre now when you see Godfrey, our big ram, who used to be quite quite intimidating, and now we go up and we think, were we really, <laughs> were we were we really worried that he was going to headbutt us? He, he looks like um like a like a frightened little boy now. Bless him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've uh, we've made a cherry pie and. Uh, it's rather it's rather nice so <laughs> so yeah it's been it's been a good week yeah thank you all very much for watching and uh, and i look forward to seeing you all again next week thank you